And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Swole Cat. We're going to be taking this meme tier deck over to ranked. That's going to be our next two decks with that and a gem assembler. We're going to be trying out these two decks in ranked. Uh, this one's a lot of fun to play. We get to do some really cool stuff. We are, of course, playing a Swole Squirrel deck um, where uh, we're going to be trying <laughs> to strike a couple of times, double its power, make it very big, give it Elusive with Fey Guide or give it Overwhelm with Cato the Arm. So we're playing, or Cato the Arm. So we're playing Swole, uh, Swole Squirrel and Cato, and that's that's that K-A-T, kind of makes it Swole Cat, even though I know it's Cato, uh, not Cato, my bad. Um, but we do have Katarina, so that's our other K-A-T. So we have Katarina, Cato, and that's where we just got the K-A-T in. Um, and yeah, we can get the extra attacks with Katarina. We've we've done some pretty crazy stuff before with uh, these support things with like Lulu and Shen with support, and then getting multiple attacks with Katarina. That's that's been pretty awesome. Um, there's just some some cool stuff we can do with that. Young Witch with Trifarian Glory Seeker has been amazing, or even just Lulu with Trifarian Glory Seeker. That's been a big part of our deck. Or Legion Drummer again, giving quick attack that with Glory Seeker. That's been really good as well. So we got a lot of ways to support different things, even supporting Sw Swole Squirrel giving this quick attack. That's very nice as well. And then we can give things elusive, so we can help give like Lulu elusive, so they can't just block Lulu real easily, or Shen, or anything like that. Um, and yeah, that's kind of our deck. It's a nice little one. So let's let's try this out over in ranked. We played it in normal a couple of times, and it's been pretty impressive over there, but now we're going to be giving it the ultimate test, sending it right to a Master's rank and see how it can hold up there. <laughs> yeah, I don't I'm not a huge I'm not a Cowboys fan either. I was born in Iowa where Iowa you know the so the team I liked in Iowa was the Hawkeyes. They're black and gold and so to pick an NFL team I picked the Steelers cuz they're also black and gold. Bilgewater Shadow Isles with Callista. This looks pretty cool. I like it. We're going to get rid of our two spells, keep our two glory seekers and go from here. So even though I, I live in Dallas now, I'm not really a Cowboys fan, I'm a Steelers fan because of that. We'll have a nice little curve here. So they're going to be doing some crazy ephemeral cool stuff. Victory requires a sharp blade. A sharp blade. We could go Legion Drummer. Give quick attack instead of going Lulu. Then we have Transfusion available. Legion Drummer will just trade with one of these. I think that's okay. I think I'm going to do that instead of playing Lulu for now. So we're basically trading Legion Drummer for the 4 3 and. And the, the, I guess, and the two one. Yeah, that's fine. Good trade, good trade. Ooh, missed the allegiance. Missed the allegiance. We're down to 10. I need just a moment. So many glory seekers. We need to find that glory. I'm looking all over for it. For action, I... I wish I had an extra mana for the whimsy. I I guess I'm losing both glory seekers. I can trade both glory seekers and transfusion and kill their board. 5-6, that's 6th point of health. Oh, I don't love this. But I'm going with it. Is it? 
Ready for a shot. Yuck. All right, so assuming that thing attacks, I think I want to whimsy it. So whimsy costs four mana, so I don't get to play either of the four mana cards. So we can play the Glory Seeker. Man, why can't we double spell? We can only single spell. Two worlds, one balance. Sure is dark, eh? Faster. You are mine. It's probably safer for me to. Maybe I should be going the other way. It's probably safer for me to have Shen go to the Lulu and the Lulu go over to the Glory Seeker and turn Glory Seeker into a 4-4. Because this way they could kill the Glory Seeker with just a Vile Feast, but Glory Seeker is going to be dying to a Vile Feast for the most part anyway. This gets an additional point of damage in by giving that Shen additional power. Yeah, I, I really like that Mount Diana, but I understand the, the games are very long. So yeah, I understand saying the, the games are too long to rank up with that deck. Um, it's understandable for sure. 11 mana, so I play this. Yeah, we'll still have six. So let's just go barrier here. Everyone's a god. So if I want to keep Glory Seeker alive. So Sapling's not attacking, so they gotta have the zero mana 3-2. Gotta use Stand United right now. I mean it's worth it. The King Koo go where they are needed. They are under my protection. <laughs> Yeah, I like that deck a lot. So we're at five. I'm gonna give that barrier. I'm gonna have this challenge first. And then... Oh no, none of these other cards really do that much. Or let's see. I mean, I'm not... Basically, the Lulu doesn't do that much. I guess I just don't attack with Lulu. Well, maybe go like this. Yeah, I guess we go like this. Well, like, I, I could have gave the plus three to the Swole Squirrel and turned it into eight, eight power. This gives a plus two, though. That's, that's true. It's going to a five five, not a four four anymore. All right, we're at four. We shall not rest until all the trains begin. Spark and I will keep you safe. Let's pick this job, Samo. So I can, uh, I can whimsy if they have another Neverglade collector. Oh no, that's what I don't want to see. Maybe I should have whimsied that Neverglade Collector before that one. We already saw them play one Doom Beast, so I'm just hoping that that's their two Doom Beasts and they don't have another. So they're going to level up Kalista. Level up Kalista's putting in Mist Wraith, as far as I know. Perfect. We'll have the whimsy for that. Um. Get a pick. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Cannot whimsy the Callista. Uh, we did, we did, the, yeah, we did a video against the All In Fiora deck, where people were in the comments they're telling me to whimsy the Fiora. It doesn't quite work like that. All right, let's see. So you can block here. This is an eight-four. You'll survive there. You'll survive here. You can block here. You like frogs, huh? I guess it'd be better just to go block like this. Yep, that's better. Okay. Looks good. All right. All right, GG, Swole Squirrel. 19 of power. Elusive. You fought we we're gonna make that even bigger too. I will keep. This is not an avalanche deck, so that's good news. We're gonna be giving the Lulu the elusive. Most likely, I could see giving Flower Child the elusive though as well. Probably the Lulu. Yeah, we're getting some wins again. That was definitely nice. Get him, Flower Child. Ooh. That could be good. So are they going to have single combat? I hope not. Do I... I mean, I could go Glory Seeker here and then try to kill that for free. It's probably my best play. The problem is, like, let's say I do that and then they single combat, then I'm kind of stuck. So then, like, then what do I do? Or maybe it's best just to attack right now. And then, like, play Lulu afterwards. If I have single combat, that's going to be bad for me, for sure. Sharpen the blades, I'm go this kill. route. This is my best route. Good. Sunlight guiding, my brethren. This way! Up. You're mine! Press bosses! No single combat right now. Let me just kind of keep picking things off with this quick attack challenger combination. Passing over to me, huh? I'm gonna play the squirrel that swole. You may know it as a swole squirrel. So this gives them Radiant Guardian. Lulu gives me. Whoa, dizzy. So do I want three two flower child or a bigger swole squirrel? I'm just gonna be playing Radiant Guardian. Is this? Like yeah, I'm, I'm worried about Radiant Guardian plus. Um. Guess we're going. Come on, Rip. You're mine. I'm worried about Radiant Guardian plus. Fight spells, like single combats, concerted strikes. Radiant Guardian by itself, not too worried about. It's just Radiant Guardian plus the fight spells. Justice will be served. That's where we're going to be in trouble. We put them on the back burner. They have to have both of those things. They do have the Radiant Guardian.
They haven't shown single combat yet. Going pretty high variance here. is good. Who gets tossed? Hits power. So let's go barrier. Spirit's Refuge, if they do have a fight spell. Alright, no no spell, no nothing. GG's. There we go. We are 2 0. Oh. Swole cat, do 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 do. Swole cat, do 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 do. We only have one Katarina. The KAT part of our deck is kind of more Kato, the arm. This can take out like the 04 ramp card, which could be really nice, but I, I want a better curve out like we had that last game. There we go. Um, I really want to find the, the five ones, the challengers. They're a big, big part of our deck. Really want to be drawing those. I keep step with the heartbeat of Noxus. Thought me smell something. Free. Is that a familiar frog? Oh my gosh. Our hand's gonna be terrible against Avalanche either way. Hello. Hello. Is it adventure? Just gonna play into it. Glad no avalanche. Okay, they're not too worried about their troll going to two health as far as avalanche is concerned. That was a great pass by them. Not a card you see too often, especially in a deck that doesn't really have early units. But it was perfect. Crazy. Thanks, Michael. I guess this is just a, a combat spell deck. Just a complete combat spell deck. I would think this would be, you know, like a, a ramp deck and everything, but no, it's just all combat tricks. Play what four four straight <laughs> of those. Do 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 do. Swole cat. Do do do. <laughs> you just want to put Lulu and Lux together so you can have all those LUs together. You just want to play Lulu Lux. Twisted Fate Gangplank. This deck is awesome. 
Um, love Glory Seeker here. If it doesn't die to make it rain, <laughs> you know, if it doesn't die there, and if we find some quick attack. That's the thing is, uh, our deck's a little weak to bilge water because we have all the one health units with our Young Witch and Glory Seekers. We're mulliganing Kato. I don't know if I want to keep one or two Flower Childs. Keep one. We got to find our support things also. Ooh, no, those are our support things. Stop eating or no more walking. That's a support thing. You're so hungry. We're going to wait on Glory Seeker until maybe we can have a little bit of protection for it. We have the attack tokens on the even turns. So what what's that going to look like? Like turn four, we could have Spirit. We can play Glory Seeker with Spirit's Refuge backup. I mean, just a Death's Hand now kills my Lulu. I don't want to waste my mana. But I guess if I wait, I'm only wasting one additional mana than they are. I mean, they're going to have removal spells. It's not really a, a force them to have removal spells. I mean, they're going to. It's not like a, oh, maybe they don't. They definitely do. Guess we're going. We're at the beginning of the game. It's not really a, a force them to have stuff. Time of the game, I don't believe. Powder cake is really good. I'll blow up the pieces. Don't make me flood magnify you. Deal me in. Who says I don't share? Our deck's not good against Avalanche, so one-sided Avalanche, while they're not even they're not even like spending the mana to play Avalanche, they're still just putting threats in play that are also attacking and blocking. That's really difficult to beat. Rip, say hi, Lulu. Hi, Lulu. Aren't you a cute little snooze boy? I think I just I like I think I just like attacking while I can before I can't anymore. Best run while you can. Find me a favorite lump. Croak if you work, burn if you don't. That's nice. Swole Squirrel reheals to 7 4. Or, like, that's that's really nice. So they're passing to me. Should I take the pass? <laughs> wake them up. Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly why that. I mean, I guess. I don't know. I don't know exactly what's going on there. Rip, say hi, Lulu. Hi, Lulu. Aren't you a cute little smoosh boy? Okay. So let's go attack. That could be a good draw. You support Young Witch, who supports Swole Squirrel. Swole Squirrel. Support you. Oh, I guess I, I could have made this thing a 5-5, I guess. If I would have just done, done these, or at least on this one first. And then that, yeah, I guess I could have made that a 5-5. Which could matter. I assume their turn is Riptide Rex. But they didn't... Yeah, why didn't they just Warning Shot and do 2 damage to me with get the Powder Keg out of the way? 
They could have just done that. Alright, I'm just gonna let that happen. I could save... I could use Stand United and save Lulu. But I'd rather just play Captain Perrin. Yeah, we can try to use Stand United to win the game next swing. Same with like this Grant Elusive. So I respect you, Captain. Four out of five. Good, 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 good. Attack. No. No. Another warning shot. That levels up to Captain Baron. Captain Baron gets to do his thing. So that one damage will kill. Will kill my barriers. So we can't use like barriers to protect anything. Because uh, this one damage here. All right. So you just block there. The eight a block the seven seven. Just trade here. So we take. I guess we go to three. I mean, I could trade away Swole Squirrel also, so I could. I mean, if we're gonna trade, I mean, we might as well kill the seven four, obviously. Um, yeah, I guess we just do that. Just worried about you know like Noxion Fervor and that kind of stuff killing me immediately. Kill them right now. All right, GGs. We're four and zero. We actually beat Twisted Fate. Gangplank played it nice and slow. Didn't just throw out our units into removal spells. Nice and patient, and I think that worked out for us. What do you want, puppy? You want to come up here? Oh. You're gonna help us for our five-up pump. All right. We're playing against Gen Fiora. Let's keep these three. Draw one drop. Oh, never mind, we'll keep them all. Draw the one drop. Katarina could be nice. Good card against Fleet Feather Tracker. Could be nice. Maybe I just don't even play the Young Witch right now. It is quite vulnerable. By my honor, you must die. I think that should work. Awesome. Thirsty Fern, a brand new tier one sub. Y'all get some hype votes in the chat. Show some love for our brand new tier one sub. Thank you so much there, Thirsty Fern. I really appreciate that. I need just a moment. Oh, glory seeker. Update this, our first of the day. Never I don't know if I should be going Katarina right now. I'm basically going Katarina because it makes the Blade's Edge, because I want to use the Blade's Edge to kill that thing. That's why I'm doing it. But I don't love how we're. I'm basically spending four mana to kill this tracker where I'm not really affecting the board. Maybe this is a bad play. I need to wait till later. I just don't want this Fleet Feather Tracker. And I, like, I don't want to use Culling Strike on the Fleet Feather Tracker. You know, all that kind of stuff. I don't want it to do anything else. I could pass. They waste three mana. They don't get to play something. No, if I didn't have Culling Strike, I may pass. But with having Culling Strike, I think we can 
Go ahead, attack. Ha! They'll never know what kills them. I walk the space between worlds. Yeah, cooling strike for that Shen is really nice. The Kinku. Okay. And we'll pass, because otherwise I play something and they challenge my smaller thing. That I play. Let's see. Young Witch. Lead with you. So they're going to go barrier card. Yeah, they, they're definitely just going to use barrier here. What if I put the Young Witch on the Swole Squirrel? This way. Oh. So Transfusion does seven, 7 damage to them. Remember me. They pass turn back to me. I guess the answer is no. Okay, that answer is yes. So single combat and concerted strike are gonna be what we have to worry about. This is kind of a tough turn. Exactly what we want to do. I just go for the win or not. The problem is, is if this doesn't work. I am one with the land. That's where the problem comes in. No going back. Blood for Noxus. Alright, that should be lethal. There we go, GG's. Wow. 5 and 0, fought through some spirit refuges there. Awesome. GG's, that was a good win. And just a good 5 0 for our swole cat. Kato, <laughs> I know that's not how you say Kato, but close cat deck. Katarina got to do some cool stuff there that last game. Um, but yeah, Soul Squirrel did its thing. We got a bunch of support. Kind of the MVP of our deck is honestly Trifarian Glory Seeker. Like Trifarian Glory Seeker, quick attack, like that combo. Challenger, quick attack is kind of the MVP of our deck. And then, you know, Challenger with you know, cheap challenger that also you buff up so it doesn't die. Cheap challenger that you give a barrier with Shen. Yeah, so Glory Seeker definitely the MVP of our deck. But it's a fun one to play. There we go. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. If you try this deck out yourself, let me know how it goes. Um, kind of tricky one to play as we saw those last two games made some weird decisions um, to, to get there. But, um, you know, it's fun. It's something different. And, you know, you don't see too much Noxus, Ionia together. So there we go. All right. Uh, yeah. Anyway, leave those comments. Let me know how, how the deck's going, anything like that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.